So this week we are, of course, doing our focus on downsizing. What would you suggest for people, Ahmed, with regards to dentistry at that stage of life? As we grow older, we start to lose enamel because of life getting in the way. So really, we want to try and hold on to as much of it as we can. And anything that's abrading the enamel away is something to try and avoid if we can help it. If you want some whitened teeth, get it done properly. So you're better off actually just concentrating on getting the brushing done properly with a, a, a proper toothpaste. Any of the Colgate's, Robbie's, Aquafreshes, normal cheapy brands will do the job absolutely fine. One of the things that a lot of patients aren't aware of, and we aren't aware of because we haven't really been told it from an early stage of life. So when you brush at nighttime, you're putting all that lovely toothpaste that contains all that fluoride on your teeth, the last thing you want to do is rinse your mouth with any water or anything. You want to spit out the excess, but you want to leave that toothpaste actually on your teeth because otherwise you really will lose the entire benefit of using it. A mouthwash use is also another benefit, but not at the same time as brushing. I would always avoid using mouthwash at the same time as brushing because it's completely counteractive. Um, you'll put all that lovely fluoride on the teeth and then you'll wash it all away with mouthwash afterwards. So you can either use mouthwash before you brush, which would slightly help, or at a different time to brushing completely, which is halfway through the day normally is not a bad time to use it. So the nighttime brush is more essential because anything that you leave on your teeth at night will stay on your teeth literally all night long. And if that happens to be fluoridated toothpaste, then you'll have the benefits of the effect of that all night long. Uh -huh.